Good afternoon. How is everybody today? It's James, Keith James here with you. And it's a lovely Friday, rainy Friday afternoon, and I'm here for St. James UCC in Allentown on the corner of Walnut and 15th. And I am the organist there. And while we are not meeting, I'm making a little modest hymn playing on the piano every afternoon for the St. James community and beyond. And you can find these videos on YouTube at the St. James UCC Allentown page. I have to admit, I have not updated those uploads for a week. And um, I've been kind of swamped. But you'll also find all of these videos on the St. James Facebook page. St. James, um, there's two of them. It's confusing. There's two St. James pages on the Facebook. In fact, I need to ask about that and find out why there are two because it is confusing and they have slightly different names. Um, the one that I believe is the active one that 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 we're really using uh, the background picture is of the stained one of the stained glass windows. Um, the other one I'm not sure what it's for it's like a duplicate. Uh, you know how that is on Facebook. So anyway um, um, Yes, so I'm here every afternoon at 2.30. Hello, everyone. And um, um, at uh, 10.30, our pastor gives a message uh, every day at 10.30 on his Facebook page over the li live stream. And he, that's uh, uh, Pastor Josh. And he's at his Facebook page, which is Knappenberger JD. Knappenberger JD, that's Knappenberger with a K-N, double P, and Burger with an E. Okay, today um, I have picked out the five hymns that are my favorite hymns from childhood. Um, I was not an average child. These will not sound like hymns that a child would love, but the fact is these were the hymns I loved as a child. Um, and um, they were from, um, this was starting in fourth grade when I joined by invitation to be a treble in a men and boys choir in a rather high, liturgically high Episcopal church in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And um, from that point on, I attended this church by myself, just apart from my family, all the way through high school and sang in this choir, which was a pretty big commitment. We, we, pra we rehearsed, the trebles, the boys rehearsed three days a week and Sunday. I mean, it represented, um, well, let's see, three, four, five, um, well, 10 hours a week. That's not a huge commitment. Um, but um, it was very regular. We practiced three, three times a week. And um, anyway, um, out of the hymnal um, comes these hymns that are so dear to me. And uh, the first one I never sang uh, corporately. They never, I don't think they ever sang it that I remember in church. And as I, as a teenager, would be pecking through the hymnal, I would come to this hymn and go, gosh, I like this hymn. And, um, and all through my, even into my adult life, I would go to myself, no, wait, what is that hymn I like so much? Because I never sang it. And I would have to page through the hymnal and go, where is it, where is it? And I would start to remember that it was a Dutch hymnal, hymn, a Dutch hymn a traditional Dutch tune, and um, so finally I can remember what page it's on. It's on page 317, and the hymn is called Annunciation, and it's arranged by David McKin uh, McKinley Williams, who is a very famous English hymnist and composer and uh, church music arranger. So. Um, the hymn should be played much faster than I'm going to play. I'll play it a couple times. Maybe I'll get up to speed a little bit. It's a lively tune. Um, it's a lovely tune about um, Mary being um, asked by God to, um, to um, bear um, his son.
Okay, that's Annunciation. The title of the hymn actually is um, Annunciation, A Message Came to a Maiden Young. Okay, our next hymn, and the next of my five favorite hymns from the hymnal growing up, is Morning Song. Okay, this song, we did sing at church. I would say we sang it once a year. Um, we didn't sing it a lot, maybe twice a year. Not a whole lot, but it always um, was a favorite of mine. And I've known this page number since uh, since middle school. I've always known, known the page number to this hymn. Morning Song. Okay, and the words to that hymn are beautiful. Actually, the words to, um, I'm going to say one at a time, because I'm such a, um, a music person that I don't follow the words often. But um, actually, four of these five songs are on my album that are coming out. And I've discovered the words are stunning, two of these hymns. Um, the first one is a lovely kind of a folk melody about Mary um, and the, uh, the announcement of, um, of her to bear Jesus. This hymn is a very somber and beautiful lyric. Um, it's very beautiful. Okay, then the next um, the next hymn is a communion hymn, and um, Schmöcke dich, and it's Deck thyself, my soul, with gladness, and this has been a favorite hymn of mine since childhood, and we probably sang this at church once a year also, maybe twice. Thank you.
Schnurke Dich. And then we have an interesting hymn. I only sang this one once in my life because um, we never sang it at church. But in fifth grade, our men and boys choir participated in a men and boys choir festival in New York City. And we sang in St. John the Divine the largest interior cathedral space in the world. And um, this hymn was written at the time of the publication of the Episcopal Hymnal in 1940, probably written for this hymnal by Leo Sowerby, who was a wonderful composer. And um, this hymn immediately was a favorite hymn of mine when we sang it at the Men and Boys Festival in New York City. Uh, of course, we practiced it at church to, for the festival, but we never sang this song in our own church in New Brunswick. Um, but ever since then, it's been a favorite hymn. I recorded it on a, on a guitar album that I did, classical guitar, back in the 80s, and now the song will be on the album that I'm releasing um, in a jazz style with a stand-up bass, drums, and kind of a jazz piano. Um, but anyway, this is a lovely hymn called Peace in Our Time, O Lord. And um, another page number I've known since childhood. Uh, the words are by John Oxenham. Where is his name? That's interesting. Why doesn't it say that here? How odd. It always gives the author the words. Well, his name is John Oxenham. And he's a famous lyricist for, he's written him, uh, uh, words to a number of great hymns. It's very odd that his name isn't here. Um, so anyway, but this is, uh, the melody is Taylor Hall by Leo Sowerby. And these words are also set to another, at least another hymn, um, and actually more often heard in that other hymn. I don't know the other seven. Peace in our time, O oh Lord. <laughs>
peace in our time, O Lord. And our last one is set to many different word settings because it's such a famous melody. Um, and the word setting that many people know is Alleluia, sing to Jesus. We sing this one at St. James. I'm not sure what words we use for it. Um, And I think this is my favorite hymn of all time, growing up and forever. enjoyed my five favorite hymns growing up and um, I hope you have a nice day and I'll close with um, our regular closing songs and I hope you are surviving well these kind of weird times that I hope we start getting a little less weird praying so
day and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. God bless.